Machine learning has allowed us to look through a new type of lens, a lens that shows us characteristics of the data that we would never have seen before in, in our lifetimes. We work with an individual, uh, a colleague at Pennsylvania State University, and he has an earthquake machine in the laboratory. And this machine allows us to mimic faults in the earth. You take that signal and you analyze it with these tools. A signal that we thought was simply noise was rich in characteristics about the mechanics of how the fault was working. After attempting this in the laboratory, we thought, let's go to the earth. The best place we could think of going was Cascadia because there are these, what is known as slow slip earthquakes that take place on the order of every 13 months or so beneath Vancouver Island. These slow slip events, because we had so many over about 20 or 30 years, meant that we had data for the machine learning model to train on, as it's called, and then test on. And what we saw was at every second of time, that seismic signal was telling us how the fault was moving and it was telling us when the next earthquake would take place, just like in the laboratory. That was, that was unbelievable. Forecasting earthquakes is the, the holy grail of geophysics, of seismology. We're still a long way from that, but what machine learning has allowed us to do is probe the faults in ways we could never have imagined before. Whether we can do this or not with actual earthquakes in the earth is a question we're addressing right now. We don't know the answer to that. All we know is that we've advanced toward that goal markedly over the last five years.